The work of America's farmers can seem a long way away. But even if we aren't always thinking about them, they're thinking about us. Wherever your day takes you, chances are it began with a farmer. Both baby boomers and millennials are playing a large role in just how food is being made, produced, and branded. The latest to step up to the challenge? Deli meat. Deli meat suppliers are catering to the boomers' desire for flavored up meats and the millennials' generation desire for new tastes and new food experiences. With these two groups, bland meats just aren't making it. Innovations have already been going on with the jerky. The introduction of spice, smoked, and teriyaki flavors and the uses of turkey, salmon, and bacon as base proteins have been hitting the market. We believe that processed meats in the deli case will be the next to transform in a big way. Why? Well, if you look on a global scale, with North America representing just about 40% of sales, processed meats are expected to grow to $799 million by 2018. That's up from $361 million, according to a new market and market forecast. Protein is at the center of American diets, and ready-to-eat meats conveniently suit our lifestyle. In addition to this growth in processed meats, let's not forget the trend to eat tastier, healthier, kinder, and more sustainable. So besides bolder flavored meats, the market should expect to see varieties with better nutritional profiles, humanely raised options, including free range chicken. Processed meats in the near future could also be less processed, lack nitrates and nitrites, have less sodium, more spices and natural flavors, including those intense flavors, like red wine. Thanks for watching today's Lemper Report. And be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. And visit supermarketguru.com for more information and more videos just like this.